How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. As you see, today we do have an icon by the name of Ronaldinho. Now, I know he's got a 94 rated card, but that is extortionate, and this is his highest rated central card. So, I thought, you know what? Let's buy this guy because I was playing the weekend league with like Cristiano Ronaldo and whatnot. Then I thought, you know what? I want to have some fun on this game. I want to have some fun on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team in Foot Champions. So I bought Ronaldinho. Now, the reason that you're not seeing a squad around him is because I'm going to do a squad builder on this. It could come tomorrow. So, guys, if you do want to see that, you know what to do already. Bring the bloody hype. If you want to see more legend reviews, bring the bloody hype. If you want to see, you get the idea, lads. You get the idea. So smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. And let's hit 1,000 likes on this review for Ronaldinho, this 91 one rated icon and if you're new to the channel by any which way shape or form you found the channel somehow subscribe to the channel click that little bell as well there's a lot more coming in the future not just reviews on this channel squad builders possibly foot draft i'm enjoying that really well right now there's a lot more to come on this channel so i'm very excited for the future i'm very excited for 2019 which is just a couple of days away and guys you should be excited as well so lads let's see what ronaldinho is like let's get into the review so here we go then lads and as he is the like the highest rated central like icon of ronaldinho he is going to be extortionately priced 2.8 to 2.9 million coins on the xbox and roughly the same on the playstation he's a little bit more on the playstation console at this moment in time now he did very well for me in foot champions playing 10 games in total scoring 13 times and assisting five times so his goal per game ratio was uh, higher than his goals and he played a cam as well in a 4-5-1 because i did want to have fun with the game and ronaldinho he allows that basically he's the epitome of fun on this game five star skills four star weak foot high to low work rates always stay forward i'd stay forward uh, instruction on him as well. He always did forward. His preferred foot is the right. He is 5'11 so and his stats are incredible. Now if I was going to critique the card in any which way, shape or form it would be his head and accuracy if I was going off stats. But he doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. In game, when is he going to get the chance to head on a ball? Unless you kind of LB uh, cross it towards the back post and Ronaldinho's there. Normally those headers though those are free headers against like no full backs run onto him or anything like that. Or the headers against full backs which normally don't have great jumping anyways. And Ronaldinho's jumping is actually 84. But let's have a look at the stats that matter. The acceleration 93 is sprint speed of 89. I did have a Hunter Chem style on him and you can see these kind of uh, little boost of ratings on him. It's because the team chemistry is is only 30 as of right now. Otherwise, he would have got like the, the biggest boost than he did in game, obviously. Yeah. But um, in terms of the chem style, I would actually put engine on him. Engine gives him like the best boost and whatnot. The rest of his stats, you've seen his history right now. The rest of his stats, he's got 85 positioning, 88 finishing, 84 shot power, 87 long shots, 80 volleys, 88 penalties, 90 vision, 89 crossing, 89 free kicks, 88 short pass, 82 long pass, and 87 kill. The passing category is 88. It's not even his best category. 91 is the pace, 90 92 is the dribbling as that goal in the background sunk right in the net. The keeper, he didn't even move, man, as I punched the cameraman in the nuts. But, um, yeah, he didn't even move in the slightest. You'll see on the replay as well. He was rooted to the spot. That's how accurate this guy's shots are from distance and inside the area. This guy is a sniper on this game, an absolute sniper. So that dribbling category there now, 92 agility, which we'll see in this review. You'll see skills come out the kazoo as, uh, yeah, he just skipped past him. Like, he wasn't even there. Like, he was a feather in the game. We make it 4-4 in extra time. And this is when his stamina does deplete. It depletes in extra time. But at the same time, he can still do stuff like you've just seen on his screen right in front of your eyes. So he is very clinical when he does get the chance. And my good God, can this guy score some good goals as he receives the ball on the edge of the air. It takes a touch and takes a finish. There's back of the net, sayonara, good night. Every single time they will fly in. So like I was saying, the dribbling category, 92 agility, 86 balance, 91 reactions, 92 ball control, 93 dribbling, and 92 composure. And in terms of physical category, it's actually quite good apart from the 68 aggression. He's got 84 jumping, 81 stamina, and 81 strength. Now for a calm, that is ex like, it's exquisite. It really is for a calm on this game. That is exquisite. It's so damn good on this game. It is 81 strength for any calm. It will never be anyone on this game, let alone Ronaldinho, who is one of the most enjoyable cards I've used on this game. Haven't quite used the Prime yet, but this card is exceptional as signs. In terms of the best stats, you've got the dribble and the ball control, and the key stat of the year, which will be the agility. And the worst stats are literally the stats on paper in terms of heading and aggression. The rest of the stats, 
it doesn't apply to him. The defending like interceptions, marking, stand tackle, slide tackle, uh, they don't apply to Ronaldinho. It's not about that life. He's about attacking uh, at will and doing stuff like this. He just embarrassed the goalkeeper right there. Scooped in. I, I noticed in game he was moving his keeper. Uh, so I scooped in him when I went one on one. Uh, I just tapped into a net easy, like it, it was an easy goal, an empty net. And uh, those are the easy goals on this game. But I had to do that scoop turn uh, quickly because I was getting closed down by the defender. So straight away, the duty on the card. It's bloody brilliant, it really is. It's 92 uh, and it allows him to come out these skills very, very quickly as uh, he skips past a couple of players there and puts it beyond the keeper's legs into the back of the net before doing a backflip on the celebration. So straight away, on his pros, five star skills, of course. You associate him with a number of Samba skills on this game. Your Neymars, your R9s, your Pelés, but um, Ronaldinho, is, it's just Ronaldinho, man. He's, 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 he's in a league of his own. He really is. I know Neymar's got the five-star, five-star. R9 has the five-star, five-star. Ronaldinho's got the five-star, four-star. But um, it's just as good, man. It's just as good. It's, he's, he's great on this game. He really, really is. So his five-star skills come in handy all the time. And every single time Ronaldinho receives the ball, you want to do five-star skills. That is why I got him. Because he, he's fun on this game. And I knew he was going to be fun. Because I'd want a skill every single time. I want to enjoy myself on this game and Ronaldinho allows you to enjoy yourself on this game. The dribbling, it's always in control. Hence why I've got close control after the dribbling se section because you could be going 99.99 miles per hour and the ball would be stuck to his feet like glue. Remember when you were a kid? Uh, I don't know how far this goes back, but you had, like, uh, you had a football, like uh, a light football. Uh, we used to call them penny floaters. Um, you used to have them on like an end of a string. You used to do like kickups and stuff like that. Ronaldinho, he's got that string attached to the ball at all times because it never gets away from him. It's so damn good. In terms of his evasiveness, it's up there. It's up there with the best in the game because he's hardly ever touched and he can weave in and out of challenges at will, which you've seen in this review. And if he does get caught, he's got 81 strength to kind of shoulder them off the ball every now and then. So he's very good at that on this game. The rest of his pros, we have the finishing because in front of goal, this guy's as good as any striker I've used. 88 finishing plus uh, certain mounts with Hunter Kem style. It's very good, man. It is very good. In terms of long shots, it's 87. Shot power is 84. He can blast them like no tomorrow and he'll score goals at will. His movement, sensational. High to low work rates. He wants to get in behind the defense. He wants to attack at all times. I love that about my attackers. I want them to attack. I don't want them to defend. I want them to be full tilt, attack every single time. So his movement is phenomenal. He gets into space. He gets in behind defenses and he just... He holds the key, man. I haven't even included his passing in the pros, but I've got to kind of have a little word in here for them. His through balls are crazy. Honestly, they're crazy. I should have included more within the review. His pace is nuts. 93 acceleration at 89 sprint speed. It feels like 99.99. It really does. He is that quick on this game. He is Ronaldinho. Like I said, even though he's that quick, the ball is always in control. Sensational, this card. Absolutely sensational. But he could be better. He could be better, and that's me saying something right now, because in terms of cons, I can't go statistically up any cons. Maybe head and accuracy, is that a con? No, it's bloody not. But I feel like this card, he's hit a limit, but he can break that boundary and get even better on this game. That's what that 94 allows you to do, but it doesn't allow you to do that in a central area for like squad builders and whatnot, because he's a left winger on this game. But uh, this card, it's great. As a central card, it's fan bloody tastic. I'd rate this guy uh, basically what I would rate the 94 Cam Neymar, the UCL version. I've been using that a lot recently. And um, they are very similar. They're like two peas in a pod. They really, really are. So uh, let's get into the overall rating then, lads. Remember, I've done now nine icon reviews on this channel. If you want to see more, you know what to do. Uh, smash a like on the review and comment in the comment section below. But in terms of Ronaldinho, he's going to get better than Van Basten. He's going to get better than Socrates. He's going to get better than Prime Raul. He's going to get the rating of a 9.6, which is outstanding for the card. It's a brilliant card. You'll have tons of enjoyment out of it. But there's, um, there's a stopping point, man. He's 2.8 million. I mean, Jesus Christ. Not everyone can afford 2.8 million on this game. So um, I'll probably make a loss on this card. I've got no doubt about that. But... For the loss I've taken on this card, I don't mind because I enjoyed every single moment of having this card in my club, every single moment. So he's getting a 9.6 in terms of overall rating. But like I said, he could be even better. Who knows? That 94 could be like a 9.8, a 9.9. A it could be literally exceptional on this game. But um, this card gets a 
1.6 from me because I believe he can be even better. So there is room for improvement, which will be the key card of Dia. Enjoyment rating, 9.8. I think that's the highest enjoyment rating I've given any card on this game, simply because he's just so damn enjoyable, man. It's, it, you smile when you play the game. <laughs> Not everyone does that, lads. Not everyone does that. You smile when you play with Ronaldinho in your team because it takes you back to a, I don't know, a time period where you enjoy watching football. I still love watching football, but with Ronaldinho, he was chipping Perlu. He was taking on Gattuso. He was making a mockery of AC Milan's defenders and everyone like that. This guy was one of the goats and one of the greatest of all time. No doubt about that. Enjoy the 9.8 because it takes you back to that time of thinking. Foot champs are in this 10 out of 10. I mean, I got this guy in my team. I think I lost three by penalty shootouts. And that was about it. I played 10 games with this guy. All in foot champions and lost like three via penalty shootouts, which... Uh, it's unfortunate, but at the end of the day, I enjoyed myself, so I didn't care about those losses. Finish, I think, I think, I finished. I think I finished Gold Warner, which um, isn't great by my standards. So I hold myself too. But I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. And at the end of the day, you've got to enjoy yourself on this game. And that is the reason he's foot champs ready, 9.8 enjoyment rating, and in 9.6 in terms of overall rating. In terms of the perfect link this card, you've got great options. You've got Rebelo Carlos if you want to go that route. But you've also got Pele, Ronaldo, Socrates, Rivaldo. You've got a lot of Brazilian icons on this game that could give you this perfect link to this card. In terms of strong links, it could be any Brazilian on this game. I've given you Neymar as an example. It could be any icon on this game. I've given you the GOAT, which is Alan Shearer, the true GOAT in terms of a goal scorer in real life. And uh, in terms of weak links, anyone, anyone. And I've given you the example of Cristiano Ronaldo, the poster boy of this year's game. So you've got the two poster boys, Neymar and Ronaldo in there. The similar players, we have Diego Maradona with the five-star skills, Roberto Baggio with the five-star skills, and we have Neymar also with the five-star skills. They're all similar in terms of skill levels, in terms of like using the skills and whatnot. So um, yeah, that's why they're similar players. In terms of the key pro, it will be the dribble in a day because this guy is the master of the dribble on this game. He's the master of the dribble in real life. He's just the master in general. He's, he's, he's great. Room for improvement is the key card today because, like I said many, many times, I do believe this card can get even better on this game. Best game style. I used to know, but looking back, it's engine. Engine should be the best game style for this card because it gives you a 94 rating per position for a cam left midfielder, right midfielder, right wing, and left wing. So that is the best rating per position in terms of using this card. And the boost that agility up to like 99 and the balance even higher as well. In terms of the best players, in terms of icons I've used on this game, Cruyff, Eusebio gets the same rating as Ronaldinho, Raul, Stoichko, Van Basten, Socrates, Rivaldo, and Roberto Baggio. Guys, if there's any more icons you do want to see on this channel, you want to see featured, you want to see a squad builder around because if you do want to see that squad builder, lads, it should be out tomorrow. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see squad builders on this channel. But I can't keep doing reviews. I know you guys love them and they'll keep coming in thick and fast and stuff like that. But um, I can't just be just a review channel. I've got to add more to it to, uh, to just improve my... Um, I don't know, well-being, because I'll go mental if I just do reviews every single day. That's uh, that's the top and bottom of it. So I need to add more to my game. And I do believe, like, squad builders and whatnot, you guys will enjoy them. They're going to be foot champion squad builders as well. They're not going to be, like, a non-rare squad for, like, 60 pence and stuff like that. But, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this review of Ronaldinho, 91-rated central icon. If you have, you know what to do. Bring the bloody hype. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.